Hey, my name's Scott McNamara. I'm with Jesus at the door. I want to show you guys this tool. It's Jesus at the door. It's a Holy Spirit inspired tool. It's made up of nine points in a picture. And the nine points were given to me in the moment with a lost person. I didn't know what to say, but I had a willingness and an obedience. And the Lord gave me every point. So I just want to talk you guys a little bit through uh, how this works. We approach an individual. We say, excuse me, can I ask you a question? The reason for that is this. Every step that we take, Jesus has taken the step before us. When you follow the shepherd, you're following every step that he's already taken. So if John chapter 6, verse 44, no one can come except he draws them. Even if I say, excuse me, can I ask you a question? If that person says no, I don't believe they're being drawn today. Everything in this tool, the Holy Spirit is leading the whole thing. So I say, excuse me, can I ask you a question? If they say yes, I say, have you ever seen that picture before? And do you pray? We're just trying to work out here, is this someone that the Lord is drawing today? Uh, we explain about praying, you know, do you pray? Praying is like talking through a door. You know he's there somewhere, but you don't know him personally. We're trying to differentiate between knowing God and knowing him personally. There's a difference between nominal Christianity and fundamental. We're trying to show people he's real. So once you ask these guys that, you just take them through the steps. The first three sections are on the picture, the next three are on sin, and the last three are on repentance. So the next thing we say is lots of people pray, Praying's like talking through the door. You know he's there somewhere, but you don't know him personally. And then you look at sin. Visualize a backpack on your back. You know, Jesus spoke in imagery. Jesus spoke in parables. You know, the, the beauty of a picture, even if you're eight years of age or 88 years of age, you can relate to it. Let's use some imagery. If they had a, a backpack on their back and we filled it with all your sin, would it be a heavy bag? Everybody can relate to that. That's your debt with God. It stops you having a relationship with him. And that's what he wants. He doesn't want your religion. And then we look at this. If you owe the bank $10,000, I write you a check for 10 grand and you go and cash that check. What's gonna happen to your debt? It will be clear. And you want that person to speak to you. Don't just have them stand there and you dictate all these things at them. You know, Christianity is relational. Let's get them to relate to you. Let's get them to give you the answers. So if I give you that check, you'd go and cash it, your debt would be cleared. Jesus wrote you a check in his blood on the cross, it cost him everything. And he stands here today and asks you, will you cash it? And then we have the moment we call the Zacchaeus moment. This is the moment right here, right now. If Jesus was here right now, would you open that door and let him in? And that's the key moment. If they say yes, then we allow the Holy Spirit to reveal Jesus. The Holy Spirit is our evangelism partner. So in that moment is when we lean on the Holy Spirit and we say, Lord, reveal Jesus to this individual. And we pray and Jesus will be revealed through the Holy Spirit. And then we ask them, how did that feel? And they will say, yeah, I felt something. Do you believe that's Jesus? Would you like to let him in? And the last thing we say, repentance, is to, if you're going this direction, you need to turn around and follow him. Change it from being your own shepherd to making him your shepherd. That's the difference. That's repentance and that is the key. And we have a prayer at the bottom here, uh, a simple prayer using the language that we've already used in the conversation about the door. We say, dear Lord Jesus, I open the door of my heart. I choose to follow you. Fill me with the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. We just use simple, simple words. Again, not magic formula, but if it's from their heart, God will do wonderful things. God bless you guys. I pray, Lord, for every person watching this, that they would not try and do evangelism in their own power, but that they would partner with you and they would see that you are the source of all power. In Jesus' name.